to a day in my world. So I'm going to start off with a Dollar Tree haul. I've got a lot of stuff. If you guys can't see, there's a lot of mess in here. And it's really hard for me to record during the week because, you know, work, work, work. I've been working from 4.30 to about 8, 830 because I've been training new people and we've got extra work going on. So I've been swamped. That's the baby. There's eye candy going off at it. So anyways, guys, let me go ahead and start with this haul. You guys know I don't have any organization to my madness. Hence why I am a day in my world. Because you guys never know what's going to happen in my world. So, first thing I want to start off with is I saw Creative Chica haul, haul these. And I am huge on any type of like nuts and things like that. And she's been hauling these planterns. They are sea salt and vinegar peanuts. They look yummy. But I'm going to tell you guys, I am Puerto Rican. And I love me some flavor. And they have a very hint. And I mean hint. And I'm going to show you guys. I've already, I've ate them. A very subtle hint of the vinegar and sea salt. So I was expecting this like a lot of flavor and it really didn't so um they're okay for me but it wasn't uh what i was expecting it to be so i don't think i will buy these again i wish they had more of the vinegar taste um but they're not that bad they're okay if you're into like this subtle hint of flavor these are good I want it more like a boom. Here's your vinegar taste. Okay? Okay. So anyways, guys, went with the girls. Today's a horrible day. I had to send all my workers home early because we've got really bad weather with tornado warnings and, I mean, hail, the whole thing. So we showed up. It got ugly. I sent everybody home at about 7.30 and... I told my husband I wanted to make a Dollar Tree run. I don't know. I'm risking my life or something. I don't know. But the girls were with me. So I found a couple things that I want to put in babies, eye candies, baskets. Oh. She's not getting these things. So the first thing that I saw the Dollar Tree bring, she's always wanted to play this. She always looks for it at Walmart. So look, they have it at the Dollar Tree. These are perfect for your Easter baskets. So I was super excited to have found that. The other thing that they've been looking for Ew. is this game. They brought it at the Dollar Tree. So they had tons of toys at my Dollar Tree. So I was super excited. So that's gonna go in the Easter basket. I had to pick this up. She was getting restless and I because she was super hungry. But look at how cute this cup is. She loves, she's a princess. She loves her princesses. So, of course, I picked this cup up for her. I kept her quiet for about five minutes. They finally pulled out these eggs. So, I, I bought a pack of these eggs to decorate my house. I'm going to be doing a complete initial cleanup of this house. Because my house is a mess. I've been going through really bad depression and anxiety and stress that I haven't had any um, ammunition to do it, so I am. I'm gonna decorate with these in my home. Eye Candy wanted this little game. You might wanna give this to her now to keep her. Oh, hold on, one second. So we picked this up for her to play with. And then... <laughs> we'll see how she does with that. This is going to be interesting. If you guys didn't see a video. No, I don't think I posted a I think I did post some clips. Me and my oldest daughter, we did a challenge. And it took her about an hour. It took me about two seconds to eat something like this. But she's going to give it a shot again. <laughs> Wish her luck. Okay. Wish her luck. So, spicy chicken flavored makisaba. Makisoba. Yaki soda. Hot and spicy chicken. So we'll let you know how her <laughs> how it goes. bodily goes. So the other thing we picked up, and I don't know who in the world picked this up. 
up. This must be, this must be photo bomber. Somebody picked this up. I don't know who this belongs to, but I picked some of these. The only difference is usually all of these pieces were separate. So it's nice to see that there's several pieces in a bag now compared to before they were sending them single. Four different fidget pieces. So I'm pretty sure this belongs to the photo bomber because she's all into those things. The other thing I picked up for the little one, basket. She loves her bubbles. So guess what she's going to get? Yes, sir. So I'm going to wait on some of these things here. Let me grab over here. Bag number the. So if you didn't, guys didn't know, oh, let me show you these two. These are also going to go in her Easter basket. Aren't they adorable? She loves Coco Melon and she loves Baby Shark. And they had other ones like uh, Paw Patrols, SpongeBob, and I don't know. But these are her faves. She loves so I had to pick up two of them, and those are also going to go in her little Easter basket. Um, let me see how much of this, I, if I want to hold off on these, but hold on. <clears throat> you go into this, and I'm going to save some of this stuff for later. So here's another thing that I picked up for the girls to play with, since we're going to be stuck in the house. I figured this will be kind of cool for them to play with. These are sticky. So that'll be fun. Hey, babe. 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 Look this, this thing. I always buy my, um, these. Oh, yeah. I gotta get the little hook so we can put it somewhere. I don't know where I'm gonna put it yet. I don't know. I always buy my dryer sheets from the Dollar Tree, and I love these. This is my favorite scent. It smells so good. And I don't know. I just love this scent. So every time that I go to the Dollar Tree, I gravitate to this. I am not running low, but I need to re revamp my stash. So I picked two of these up to put them in my stash. Oh, yep. I picked these up. So you guys know, if you're new to my channel, I have a two-year-old and a nine-year-old. And um, getting ready for Easter. So I picked up one each for each one of the girls so they don't have to argue with each other. So I picked one of each for the girls for Easter. Hubby picked this up. It is a two-in-one flashlight. He told me what it is, but I didn't pay no attention. I don't know. So anyways, it's two-in-one flashlight, and my husband picked this up, and it's going to go in something that he's got. So, yeah. I picked this up, guys. So I picked up a couple of these garlands. I have not seen them in the black and white, and I thought it was so cute. So I picked them up. Look. I don't know if I'm going. I don't know. I want to make. I gotta get, I still haven't gotten the stuff to my office to uh, decorate for Easter. So I don't know if I'm gonna use it here. I might have my husband put it here for me because I always keep the American flag. You guys know we're both veterans. My husband and I are both veterans. My husband actually just retired last year, August, and I've been out for about four years. So I always keep America. So I don't know if I'm gonna put this up, but he's gonna have to do it. Put it up for me somewhere. The guy right there. Wait a minute. You already committed me to something? Always. That guy right there. So I'm we'll about, see. I'm about to build it. <laughs> we'll see where I decide to put this. But I couldn't. Look at how cute. It's so farmhouse, ain't it, guys? I love this. So I hadn't seen the black and white. So I've got the other colors except for the black and white. Um, Let's see. These things. I think I'm going to show this stuff with this. I'm gonna see what else is over here. That's Easter stuff. I'll miss that what's here. Oh, this isn't too much to show. So you guys saw the cup that I bought the baby. I picked this up to go with the cup. Isn't this adorable? Look at how cute this set is. All the princesses that are on this cup are on this little placemat. 
And I always put little plates mats that kind of match them. So I figured she loves her princesses. There you go. Perfect for my little eye candy. So we got her that. And then, so I know I keep saying Easter baskets, but I'm not doing Easter baskets. I am going to do Easter bags. I feel like they don't really pay attention to the basket and they're too pretty. They just end up in the garbage. After so long, you can only keep so much somewhere so i figured i was gonna use bags so i found these at the dollar tree and i fell in love with these they're very springy and they match my girls so the first one that i found is this one and my photo bomber loves riding bikes she loves flowers she loves butterflies and i love live in full bloom i love what it says on it the same thing on the back and this is what the sides look like isn't it pretty so this is going to be for my oldest and I love that red and white gingham up there that's gonna be for my oldest and I love me some buddy flies and I love me some pink and so does my little eye candy so I found this one for her isn't that cute it's very spring, very Easterish, and that's the side. And it fits their personalities. You know, like I said, this is for my oldest, and this is for my baby. So I picked those up, and that's what I'm going to use to make their, um, their Easter baskets. Because, like I said, it just makes no sense for me to spend all this money on a basket that they're not even gonna it's just gonna take up space really and um i'm not gonna do that so that's that now i'm gonna show you so my photo bomber's birthday is coming up as a matter of fact her birthday is on march 19th and then my um eye candy's birthday is june 4th so when i see these things at the dollar tree i have to pick them up i have to so I finally found the buttons and these both say happy birthday. So I picked one up for each and I'm going to put that in the stash upstairs of stuff that I'm collecting for their birthday. My photo bomber said she will wear this because I asked her, I didn't want to just buy it. So she said she will wear this. So I picked this up for her. And then I know I picked one up for uh, my little eye candy, but this matches that button. And these weren't there when I picked up that other sachet. So I can always keep the sachet, but I'm gonna use this one for my little eye candy. Now I'm gonna show you some other stuff that I found. I haven't seen these colors. They've got that decorative mash, but these are the ones that have like the little popcorn on it. I've never seen these colors. I love the way these two colors look together. Doesn't it look so pretty, so springish? So I have an idea of some stuff that I wanna create and I hope I really wanted to get back into the creative things, but I really need to clean my house first. My house cleanliness drives my creative. So my house is a mess. I don't want to create, but I do want to use these two colors together because they look super, super cute and spring, spring-like. So I got those. I picked up a couple things here. I don't remember who I saw haul this, but I'm going to give it a shot. It's called Pout Potion. I don't know if this one was mine. I think this one was, no. Oh, this one, I'm sorry. This one is for the photo bomber, which I don't know why she got this. It's called Pout Potion. She picked this one up for herself. I picked this one up. It's called Plumping Lip Gloss. Make me up, okay? infused with almond oil and jojoba uh, seed oil so let's take a look at this i really do like it's cute right i gotta get this garbage out this is how what it looks like and let's see i don't have anything on my lips right now Huh. I think a lot of it's on pretty smooth. 
That's a weird smell. And like when you put your lips together, it has a weird... You can still kind of taste it even though you're not tasting it. So, I don't know. We'll see if my lips plump up. My husband says I really don't need any more plumping. They're big enough. But hey, girl can use some help. I'm getting old. So, we'll see what this looks like by the time we get done with this video. Okay. The other thing that I've been looking for, like forever... And not just at the Dollar Tree, like even at Walmart. And when I go to Walmart, I just don't look everywhere because it's too much for me. It's overwhelming. This is the finishing hair cream with the brush. So my little photo bomber and eye candy have a lot of baby hair. And sometimes when I do photo bombers braids, I can't stand that. That little baby hair just kind of stands up. Look it. They have them at the Dollar Tree. So I picked two of them up so that I can use it on both of my girls. And hopefully, I can get rid of those pesty little baby hairs that come up every time I do their hair looking cute. So, I was so happy to have found this. Check it out. I hope that they have them at your stores if you have little ones. But uh, I was pretty ecstatic to have found this. Even if I just keep the brush afterwards and when I hairspray, since it's such a tiny brush, I can just brush this and make it go away because... I just can't stand those little flyaway hairs when I do my girl's hair. So this was a great find. Something I've been looking for a long time. The other thing that I found is, and I've hauled these before. Hauled these before, but they had a couple of sets come out. And I know um, my photo bomber, she loves to put these things on. And I really love this set. So this set was for photo bomber. And there wasn't that many, like there must have been about four or five, but mostly the same color. So this is going to be for my photo bomber, and this is a great deal for $1.25, guys. These are being sold at Dollar General for $5.25. So $1.25, if you find these, pick them up. The other, th the other one I picked up is this one. This one is for me. Look at how beautiful this color is. I love it. It's like a gray, but it's a really... I don't know what kind of gray this is, but I love this gray. This one is mine. Maybe I can look cute one day. I don't know. I need a lot of help there. The other thing I picked up, actually my husband found this, and I'm going to give it a shot. I am. I want to give it a shot. This is new to my Dollar Tree. It is literally, this is called Ultimate White Charcoal Powder, and that's exactly what it is. I'm gonna see, let me see if I can open this. Oh, shoot. Yep, look. Y'all see, it's a powder. And apparently, what my husband was telling me, I haven't really looked into, like I haven't read it or anything, but I guess this is um, natural whitener. He said it's for your teeth. He said it's for your teeth. So, I picked up two of these. Your girl needs some, some help with her teeth, okay? I do. I actually need to get braces, and I'm going to look into getting them. So, I got these, and then I bought the toothbrush, which y'all, some of y'all have hauled this already. But I'm going to keep this away from my regular toothbrush. So, I figured I'll buy this one, which is, my toothbrush is pink. I love this color. That way I know my pink one is for my toothpaste and this one is for this um, charcoal. So I'm going to give this a shot and I'll tell you guys if it works or not. I'll give you guys a review on this thing when I try it. The other thing, I've never seen this. I thought this was super, super cool. And I think this is definitely a name brand. It is um, Spa Scriptions. This is a lip therapy kit. It brings the exfoliating lip scrub with watermelon and kiwi. Then it has the repairing overnight lip mask with blueberry and sicka. And this is a two pack for a dollar twenty five. You know, I don't. My lips are pretty healthy, I think, for the most part. But it doesn't hurt to exfoliate them. So. I'm going to give this a shot and see if it works for me. And I went ahead and bought the lip scrubber. So this is definitely a fantastic 
purchase and I thought it was a great buy. So I picked this up and we're going to give it a shot. I'm getting old, guys. No joke. The other thing I picked up, and this is for my eye candy. She's always asking me to put makeup on her. She wants makeup. So I thought this was super cute. It is a shimmer lip gloss. Look how pretty that color is. It is a shimmery pink. So this is going to be for my little eye candy. Got one for the photo bomber and one for my little eye candy. So this was actually pretty cute. And I can't remember. I saw somebody haul these. And I was so ha I was looking for this because I really just love the container of it. It's called Juicy Smoochies Scented Lip Balm. But look at how cute this container is. I'm going to open it because it's mine anyways. I want to show you guys what's up with this. Ah, I hate when this happens. All right. I think I got it. Look at this. Ah. Guys, this isn't working for me, okay? Look at how cute. Kind of reminds you of a little Tic Tac box. How does this open? Oh, it opens to the side. Oh, look at how pretty that color is. Louisville. Somebody's calling me from Louisville. It kind of smells like, it definitely doesn't smell like strawberry. I don't know who's trying to call me from Louisville. Somebody's trying to call me from Louisville, but I know Four Knox is closed, so I don't know who's trying to call me right now. So the other thing I picked up were... I saw these, and I have an idea, which, I mean, it's not really a big idea, but I saw this pink little um, bear, and I was like, oh, I wonder if they have a different color. So y'all know I love this pink, but I love my Tiffany blue. So I found the Tiffany blue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little guy off of here, and I'm going to put them together into one just to make it more full, because they kind of look really lonely. So I'm going to put both of them together and I'm going to hang this off of my purse. So that's why I picked up two of these to make it look a little cuter and a little cooler. You guys know what I mean. That happens, right? Yes. So the last thing that I found, this was actually a really cool find. And I wasn't going to pick them up, but I had to show them to you guys. This is a score for crafting. Um... These are from the Sparkle Shop. So I think manufactured by Pulsar Products. So this is definitely not a Dollar Tree brand. Um, these are hair charms. But the first thing that came to my head is these are good for making charms, period. And I'll show you why. I picked one of each. Look at how pretty this is. This is a little clear diamond. Pick that one up. These, that one only has four. This one has five charms. Look at these stars. Aren't those pretty? They already have the ring on them. The jump ring is on them already. And these are really pretty. These are four pieces, but the charms are so big. Look at these. Aren't they pretty? And then these, these were the first one that I saw and I'm like, wonder if there's any more so i kept looking and found the other ones these are super super adorable and these are five pieces i should have bought more of these but i just wanted to buy one to show y'all look at this aren't those super cute they're feathers there's five pieces in this guys so these were the four designs that i found at my dollar tree i don't know if there's any more but that was all I found at my Dollar Tree. And I thought these were definitely a good find. So, fellow crafter female friends, check out your Dollar Trees and see if you guys can find them. So, anyways, guys, that is all I've got. I hope you enjoyed this haul. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned because I have to clean up this mess because I'm going to be cleaning up this house tomorrow. So, you're going to see me in my West Virginia sweater again a couple times. Um, just knew that it is the same day, different day, different hauls. I love you guys so much. I'll see you in my next video.